All right, we should be live streaming, so we will get started. Hopefully, everything's going good. I don't think I've live streamed. I actually don't think I've live streamed in in like six months or something. I last looked. So, welcome guys to the stream. We are actually going to start from scratch here on American Farming. So, I've been playing it quite a bit in like beta testing and all that stuff. I think, and I haven't done. I've done more hog farm, more of the Cedar Creek farm than the Pine Valley farm. I do think having hogs is a bit more lucrative and you can make money faster. All right, everybody's getting in. Hopefully audio is good. Let me know if there's any issues. Well, the game audio is not going right now. So we'll customize our character real quick. Put the shades on. We'll do blue this time. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll just do a normal beard. Nothing crazy, black beard, black hair. And I do have some of the clothing DLC. So let's go. I do like this shirt. I think this is one of the best shirts. We will do jean shorts. I think that's clean. And we are good. There's quite a bit more to customize character. So once you guys get the game, you can test it out. It is available for download. So they were, check the description of the live stream. And I have some info there for you as well. And then I also have the American Farming contact support email down there too if you have questions. We're going to go. We do not need tutorial because I will show you guys some of the tutorial stuff. So one second. Got to change there. We should be good. Okay. Thank you guys for jumping in. Quite the character, CJ says. There we go. Flex stream. Current viewers offline. It has been a long time since I've streamed, and YouTube changes quite a bit. Gosh, the best way to look at the chat. I thought it would. Uh, we'll figure it out. But this is this is the hog farm. This is Cedar Creek Farm that we're gonna start out on. I don't know how long we're gonna be live streaming this for, but like I said, you uh, we're, we're I just opened the game. Zero hours on this save game. This is what you kind of start out with this is the starting stuff so first things first we should probably get the combine rolling because anytime the combine isn't rolling that's downtime and i actually do have sound off oh god there we go sounds off so setting menu is a very important menu We're driving into the field a bit more and we can actually hire out a worker there we go and i am playing on the xbox controller so I'm not actually used to playing on the Xbox controller and some of the controls, well, all the controls are located in the best menu of the menu. And I'm, I'm clicking on the three dots there, the help menu, super handy. A lot of people are asking, can you play the game on controller? Yes, yes you can. And I'm playing on a um, Samsung S8 tablet. So that's why it has more of the vertical bars for the landscape. So. Pretty cool stuff here. All the controls are listed there. Some of it is, uh, it takes a second to learn, but once you learn it, I think it's nice. I like having an Xbox controller. We're gonna see how much money we can make. We're gonna see how fast we can make a lot of money. First person, third person, and we'll let that guy run. So that's what our character looks like. I think it's pretty awesome. There we go. Thank you guys for jumping in. There we go, what's up, Frank? All right, we're just yeah we're gonna see we'll see how much money we can make we'll get the front loader loaded up here we don't we don't need a, the front loader for when we're doing hogs here but over at the other farm you can move hay bales with it bring it to the pasture and give it to the cows and i think first things first we got to get some pigs in so while the combine's running oh, we're gonna get the planter going too Everything going good with the stream, Jay? Okay. Perfect. Just drop her down. So same thing here. We got to drop it down. What's nice is up on the top, you can see the hired guy. You can see how much money we have. See how much fuel. That's important. If you run out of fuel, it's not, it's not fun. So just make sure you got fuel. Same thing again. You hit the hired worker, and then you set him on his way. But you can do it yourself, too. But they'll lower it down, unfold it for you. And we have corn in here. Because right now we only have a corn head for this starting combine. 
and we'll head out with the truck. So if you've picked the other farm, the cattle farm, you actually don't start with the self-propelled combine. It's a pole type forage harvester. So that's kind of what you what you are are dealing with there. Alright, let's head out. We're rolling. There's our planner. 50 mile an hour in the old pick-me-up truck, gooseneck livestock trailer. And I I don't I, I forget how many pigs it holds. We'll find out. It can obviously hold more of the smaller pigs than the big ones. We'll head into town. Perfect. Thank you very much. Raidcraft says he's been playing the game all day. Dang, that is that is awesome to hear. Oops, I was not paying attention. That's oh gosh, where am I actually? See, the map is the map is pretty big. I'll quickly show you guys that. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the game or you watched the squad was live streaming earlier, so this is our little guy, the little yellow arrow down there, but that's the whole entire map. So it's pretty big. Lots to do. You can get lost at full at first, so just like to stay close to home and figure out where we're going. That, there are two co-ops on the map. This is actually the furthest one, but there's only one livestock uh, cell point yard. There we go. And we will be making, once we get these, once we, oh, I just hit a stop sign. I didn't see that. Once we get these pigs brought in, I'm actually going to, I think I'll sell a couple of things that we have on the farm just to get more money and really focus on getting as much corn as possible and then selling putting all that corn into the pigs because it seems like you make a bit a bit more money i think and there we go oh crank it there we go so sows wiener pigs beef cow yearlings and dairy cow so we're gonna purchase we're actually gonna purchase four not nine, four of the sows. And then fill the rest of the trailer. And we can fill it with 22. And what's really cool, you go animals. You can see our hog barn, farrowing pin. There's nothing in there but the market. Market's very important. We actually just, oh, we actually bought it at the low point. So that's, that's important. You can save some money. And then really when we, what's even more important than that is what the price is when we come and sell a full load. So you always want to watch that, time it out throughout the year. And right now you can see at the top of the screen, it's January. There we go. Can you cheat money? No, you can't. You, I mean, you, can, you can't cheat money without, you have to, uh, there's like DLCs or you, yeah, in-game purchases you have to make to get more money. Spend about 500 bucks there. We'll go drive these down. My driving's not the best, but I like it when you. Yeah, my driving needs a little bit of work, that's for sure. Cool. Thank you, Carson, for watching. All right, hit the brakes. We tap back. Okay, the combine's full too, so we got to get back real quick. And we'll go first person there. So it's pretty cool. Third, first person, same with your character. You can choose between. And that's our home place. There's the combine full of corn. We got we to gotta keep moving here. Shift and pull in. We got some grain bins on site. I think the planner should be just finishing up here in a second. And we're going to unload everything into the farrowing. Well, not everything. The, the four sows into the farrowing pin.
there we go and to unload load slash unload is perfect okay there we go and then we'll select the four sows we'll unload all those guys and then move over so now that that's full they're gonna need some feed and that's where the combine comes into play in the corn and unload all there we go sweet I am uh, probably the squad he was streaming earlier and he was showing some of like the other vehicles he had a bunch of money and stuff like that for this stream I'm I'm not gonna cheat any money we're gonna play it like you would uh, starting it out so if you guys have questions you're playing the game confused on something again ask me in the chat the best way to learn on your own though the best resource I guess is the help menu in the settings so the three dots at the top and then you can go and look at everything from fertilizing planting harvesting yield bonuses are super important and they'll help you grow your farm in the game so all that kind of stuff answers questions on corn and soybeans there's actually moisture percentages stuff like that so you can save some money there there's the fertilizer i was talking about and the hogs even make hog manure so you can use some of the stuff that the hogs make don't spend any money on fertilizer and spread it out in your field I want to and I think I will but we'll use all tractors the farm all here kind of gets tossed around just a little bit so we'll the con get the combine back up and run in here because we forgot about them for a minute can you sell silage on American farming good question you can put it in the harvester oh we'll run with them for just a little bit that way And some people, the, the main thing right now is a lot of people on iOS, so through the App Store, can't find American Farming on the App Store. And it is live, it is public, available for download, the whole nine yards. But right now, when you search American Farming in the search bar of the App Store, it's not coming up at the top of the list. So what a quick little fix to hack that, and hopefully things change in the future. Search Squad Built into the App Store instead of American Farming, if you still aren't finding it, and or hit my links in the description but we yes let's go get this get these guys fed but if you do search squad built it should pop up quite a bit earlier my understanding is it's just got released so they are um it still takes a while to get to the top of the search bar with that let's get pulled around here went the wrong way i actually should be able to drive through the whole place which is pretty cool Is it possible to cut hay? Currently right now, it is not possible to cut grass, bale it, and turn it into hay, but there are hay bales. So, good question. There are hay bales that you can then purchase, feed them to your cows, There's um, and that's why there is a front loader on this guy. So if you start it on the other farm, there are hay bales already there in a kind of lean-to building, and you can go pick those up. pretty awesome on controller you can move the front loader it's uh it's pretty slick i'd say i do like playing on controller it's a bit smoother but it does take a second to get used to and by the time the combine comes around has he started on the end rows i think he's still running down the rows we'll let him do his thing because if you don't touch the ai he'll do pretty much everything for you and let's unload all these wiener pigs just hit unload all. That'll save us a lot of time. And the trailer should be empty. 22 in the barn. So, again, the three little dots is where you, you get all your important information. I'll just start left to right. Here are your maps, crop type, growth, fertilizer, plots, location. Our money's down there, too, which is really nice. And all the locations. So, we're number one, which is hog starter farm. There's bigger hog barns and buildings and plots you can buy. And here's, like, the real estate icon. So, for example, 
there's a dairy farm just kitty corner to us and that's 350,000 just to buy like the the operation and you aren't buying any fields too so I go equipment we can see what everything's worth for example if I wanted to sell the farm all upgrade a tractor I'm really only gonna get 2400 bucks for it and one important thing is too if you sell something like uh, let's see for example the farm all if we want to go purchase it tractors and I'll be at the bottom it's 3000 where I can only sell it for 2400 so I would lose say I accidentally sold it or something and I wanted to buy it back it kind of depreciates a little bit so I think actually what we're gonna do again we'll go to equipment and this is what I'm gonna do for example yield bonus we're gonna make sure we have good yields here fertilizer on corn nitrogen and PNK will give you a 75% boost and then primary tillage 10% secondary 5% so tillage doesn't give you a crazy boost and right now I am super short on money so what we're gonna do is go to equipment and we will actually sell this guy to save us some money for eleven thousand six hundred dollars yes and that will you can no till you can uh, you don't need to till the ground in between every single year so pretty awesome a little three point on our farm all got some front weights on there 1206 I think it's got upgraded LED headlights heck yeah it's got a chrome exhaust but it's not it's not straight piped what I'm gonna do with this guy is we're actually gonna go hook up to the fertilizer wagon I should probably switch this out for our gravity our kill bros gravity wagon that way that will be hauling grain around for us but We'll hook up to the fertilizer wagon instead, head down to the co-op, and grab some fertilizer. I think our, our hired hand is finishing up on planting. Combine will be full too, so we'll have to check in along the way. Are you able to take a loan? That's a really good question. I haven't even kind of thought about that. No, you are not able to take a loan yet. So there isn't there isn't a kind of like bank system for that just yet. When did it come out? It came out today, this uh, later in the morning. All right, here is our co-op. Looks really nice. It's next to this farm. Then we go to fill up. And we'll just do P and K. It doesn't matter which one right now. We'll come back and swap between the two. Heck yeah, over the bridge. We got a pretty narrow bridge close to here. But this guy's a bit better. I think the farm all tops out at 60 mile an hour. It's not as much horsepower. And this guy runs 2021. 20, it is out for Android as well. So if you have an Android device, tablet, phone, it's available as well. It's just on the Google Play Store. Don't see it on the Google Play Store. Go ahead. If you're looking for it, the best way to do it is just click the link I have in the description or search American Farm in the Google Play Store. We'll set that guy up. Let's go ahead and fold up our planter and make sure we get out of the way so we don't get run over by the fertilizer cart. Does the weather change? It does. Well, a little bit. It goes to night and stuff. You guys will see that in a bit. So it will actually get dark. Sun will go down. The, the feel of the game will train will change quite a bit throughout the day. And I'll set. Let's put our. Well, let's put our planter away just for the afternoon. And once we're done harvesting our field, we'll go straight to planting it. I'm not going to do any tillage. Here's our fuel barrels we have on site. So you do run out of fuel. 
And you gotta be careful not to get stuck out in the field because then you gotta tow it back and it costs money and it's kind of a hassle. There we go. Got disconnected and then we'll actually park the tractor. Decide to get it out of the get out of the sun in case it rains, you never know. That's pretty sweet. I like this barn. You don't have to open any doors, but you can't open the doors without even getting off and on. We'll go run up and open a couple. If anybody is playing if anybody is um, is playing the game and has questions about something, feel free to reach out in the chat. I will. Does the AI cost money? It does not. Good question. All right, our combine's probably getting full. There was no fertilizer on this field, so it won't yield quite as good. So down and unloading on the go. That was actually perfect timing. He was just starting this row. And that was our fertilizer spreader. He's starting on the rows. Can't find it on the app store, somebody's saying. So click the, I have a link to the app store in the description. You can also click that. That'll take you right there. Or if you're having trouble, and right now it is kind of hard to find on the app store, but search squad built instead of American Squad Meat instead of American Farming. So squad, B-U-I-L-T, and it will come up into the app store. There we go. We'll let that guy keep going. And we do have, do we have much feed? We got plenty of feed for our pharaoh pen for our sows, and then we need to go make sure the uh, 22 wiener pigs we put in the barn. You got to make sure they're fed, kept up to date, and otherwise they'll be hungry. Somebody just asked, will it be, uh, Catherine asked, will it be on console? Right now, it will not be. That's start out on mobile this is just on mobile devices and I mean you can play it on your mobile device and I'm projecting it I'm actually looking at my big computer screen right now so and playing on an Xbox controller so if you want to play it that way you can if you prefer to play it that way there's a million different ways you can play it it's kind of cool and one, one thing too some of you guys will be curious settings and you can actually turn on tilt steering so on the right side there above snapshot mode you can select that on and you can actually if you're playing on your phone you can steer by tilting it in your hands it's kind of cool how do you make money with cattle you can uh, just like I'm making money with hogs so you feed them up you give them feed they grow up and then you take them back to the livestock yard and sell them hopefully when the price of beef is high so I'll show you guys how I make money with hogs because right now all our corn you could take it to the co-op and sell it for the price of corn we are feeding it to the pigs instead. So we're essentially just feeding the pigs and hope that that makes more money in it. And it should, so. Unless, unless I do it at a really bad timing. So you gotta watch the market. And again, all the info on all this stuff is up at the top. Market. And actually, it, yeah. Well, whenever you go into the settings, it does stop you from moving. So FYI. But at least you won't end up on the other side of the map if you forget about it. Actually, wouldn't be bad to feed the wiener pigs while we're waiting. Garrett, can you get a medal? Somebody asked, "Where is Boss Man?" He was actually behind me. I think, I think he left the room. There we go. Let's unload the corn, and now these guys shouldn't be hungry. So, hog barn. And what's really cool too, we're on daytime. This is a really important setting. 
and can help you speed up when you're playing the game. So you have 1x, 15x, and then 100x. So let's go 100 times as fast versus actual daytime. And that'll mean your corn or whatever you're planting. There's soybeans, there's wheat. That will grow super, super fast, and you got to pay attention to it. So now if we go to animals, you can see at the bottom there's a feed symbol, manure. 22 animals out of 100. If the animals are yellow, they're hungry. If they're red, they're too old to give birth. And that only applies to the sows. So after so many years, the sows can't have babies anymore. And you got to get a set of new ones. Is there a place where you can see yield? Super good question. Uh, that's a really good question. So let's go maps. And for example, we'll zoom in. All Everything that's red, there's a legend on all these maps, like on the on the bottom right. So here you can see corn, soybeans, wheat, growth, ready for harvest. You can actually see this, what we're ready for harvest. And if you go to plots, this big field that you start out with here, 4.14 acres, and then our smaller one is 1.9, so almost two. So we're, we're farming about right now. We'll say that's two, we'll say that's four. We're doing it. We're farming six acres right now. It'd be cool to buy this seven acre field, but that costs 73,000. So we're gonna save up our money and focus on buying more fields and hogs. But the best way I've calculated yield is just look how many acres you farmed and then um, do the math after how many bushels you brought in. And then I just stored the bushels at our grain bins. So if you go to storage and then farm site number four, that's the farm we're on, there's two bins there. Each one can hold 10,000 bushels, but I'll show you I'll show you how much is there and there's there's moisture and stuff so I'll one of these times I'll this next load I'll go drop it in the bin site show you guys how to dry the corn down and if you're just gonna go sell it uh, till there's corn and for the for the price of corn then you you want to dry it down it'll actually make you some money if you run the dryer on your bins Carter asked will they add more brands super good question too right now the main two tractor brands are gonna be case IH for vehicle tractors and versatile i'll show you guys that real quick while we're waiting for the combine here's the two tractors so old school international that's the 1206 we have wide front end there's a 1066 that was the, our planner tractor that you're starting out with a cab on the 1086 and you can change between duels super cool 130 horsepower and then here's versatile as well so down the road the hope is that they would add more brands so Farm Master asks, is there multiplayer? Right now, there is not multiplayer. It's just single player. And it sounds like that makes the game a bit easier to release. And this is the first game that squ the squad built team has released. So this is pretty awesome stuff. Put her in neutral. We'll wait for the combine, and we'll go put this in the grain bins and see what moisture is. And if somebody's watching and they can't comment, you do have to be a subscriber to the channel to comment on the chat. So if you guys want to ask questions, it just helps me uh, catch all the questions by doing that and keep it not as busy. So sometimes I can barely even drive straight. Come on, catch up, catch up, catch up. There we go. And at the top there, next to the worker and the fuel bar, now I can see how much corn's in here. And these wagons do not fill a lot. These are the smallest wagons in the game, smallest combine, smallest tractors and everything. So starting from scratch and we'll see. Oh, just roll a little bit. Oh, I got out in the corner. Catch up, catch up, floor it. There we go. Trashman asked, do you think an iPhone SE could run this? Good question. I I am, uh, it, it's about how, I believe I'm not a, computer whiz or anything but I believe it's how much RAM is in your phone that can process the game and there are different settings you can run on the game so if you do have a older model device that you're running on you can change the graphics to a lower, lower setting I'll show you that I'll show you it right now so if you go into settings and then you can change the quality resolution and vegetation and stuff like that and you know less capable devices can run the game smoothly but um, some devices you know, obviously a flip phone, you, can, you can't play this game on a flip phone.
Somebody said they're playing it on iPhone 7. Yeah, I, maybe that's pushing it. I forget which, when the SE came out. I've played it on iPhone 13, ran super good. I've seen, seen people play it on uh, older phones too. Oh, I forgot to put it in the grain bin. That's right. We'll do it on the next one. Said I was going to. And we should. So we. This guy's already planted. Fertilizer spreader spread. We will put this P and K on our other field. Right when we're done. And I can actually start that. But sometimes it's easier just to start the hard worker at the beginning. That way he doesn't overdo what you already did. I think our combine's almost done. I'll actually finish it real quick. Finish it myself and we will, oops, we'll hire out this guy. So what's cool too is once you start, you can start headlands and then rows only and headlands only. So you have some options there. But once we get this guy started, if you do stop him, you can go back to Hit the hired hired person next to the money symbol, and you can resume the work. So they should pick up where they left off. I think the combine, yeah, combine goes pretty fast, like 21 mile an hour. It's pretty quick for a combine. Drop the head down. You're cooking. Patty asked, do the AI workers take money? They don't. They do not. There goes our hard worker. put this in our wagon and once we get a rhythm here we'll start flying pretty quick but we got 36,000 bucks we really haven't made any because we're taking all our corn right to the pigs so hold the auger and we'll get her unloaded Go, perfect. And I'll show you guys real quick. So we'll unload. We only have a little bit of corn. It, it doesn't matter. I'll still show you guys how it works. And we go to unload. And then we click. We'll just select on bin number one. So we emptied that little bit. Then you go to storage. Bin number one. It's actually at 20% moisture. So... You see the moisture symbol there, and then it's kind of cool. We can run out of here, and we have a little grain dryer. It shouldn't take long because we don't have any. We only have a small amount in there. Run to the dryers right here. Turn on uh, bin dryers activated. You can actually, there's a little icon button. So if you run out of something, there's an I there. It'll take you right to the help menu. Dryer can be turned on to dry the corn that's stored in the bin. So. It only costs seven, eight dollars pretty much to dry it. And it's all dry. There's nothing to to dry down. So that'll actually make you some money. Because you'll be able to sell your corn. It won't be as much of a drying cost from the co-op. But we are taking ours right right to the pigs. There is no way to cheat in there's there is a way to cheat in money you have to make an in-game purchase and i'll show you that once we get this unloaded there we go drop it down so if you hit the middle button the one that looks like a storefront this is where everything is the realty and then the squad built store itself so you have all these packs and stuff you can do i actually own them all yes i own them all it's the off-road pack 
and then to cheat in money you can you can actually you can buy the money but we are playing this legit we'll see how our pigs are doing I'm actually I need to get my planter going so we should be ready to plant here it's nice you can manually hook it up or you can just reverse into it there we go it'll hook it up for you so that'll save you some time or if you want to jump out and do it yourself you can too we're gonna put our combine away things are getting busy patty says it won't pop up in the app store search squad built instead of american farming should pop up right away or click the link I have in the description and also pinned at the top of the chat drop the planter we're gonna plant this ourselves well at least do the end roast because you cannot have two AI hired people in the same field I believe to test it yes so field is already in use so I tried to hire a worker and I couldn't but I believe you can run three on the whole game so you have three fields and you want three hired workers you can send those then you can work the fourth field or whatever you're doing Some people want to see Bossman. I actually don't know where he is, but I'm sure it'll come out at some point. Yeah, everybody was asking where you're at. Boss man? That's boss man know. right there. Hello. AKA Garrett. Who, who was asking this? Uh, quite a few people were. Wesley, oh. a bunch of different people, so. Yeah, I was going to, if it was multiplayer, he'd be in here. But he was playing it on his phone in the back room. Oh, hello. Oh, there were some good questions I was going to ask. I didn't know the answer to the oh, I forget. Somebody will ask it again. I look like a secretary. Yeah, former trio says he looks That's like a secretary. Secret account. There we go. Some, uh, Bradley's playing the game and watching at the same time. Very cool. How are you liking the game so, so far, Bradley? Are you on the um, cow farm or the pig farm? How much is the off-road pack? I think it's three ninety-nine. Don't quote me because I already had it bought. I think that was correct. Yeah. We could, uh, if you wanted to, we could change the the chat to anybody allowed yeah. to. Okay. Just so if people can ask more questions. I'll get that adjusted. Perfect. You run the pick from too, and he loves the game. Yeah, one of the biggest things. Getting this planted, first lap around the field. This is this is a pretty big field. I think, I don't know. I would have to test it. I haven't spent enough time on the cattle farm, but you guys will have to test it out on your own. What makes more money? Well, you have a bunch of options. You do just do soybeans. You do corn. You could mix mash them. You could do wheat and just sell the grain, or you can have livestock too. And there's, there's dairy cows, too. This field is 
What? I thought it was a little over. This field is a little over four acres. And. Country boys running the cow farm. Yeah, the cow farm is pretty fun too. But you have a. Start off with a pole type forage harvester rather than a combine. I gotta move that guy out of my way real quick. Probably would have been faster just to. Once they do, we'll do one more pass around the field, then I'll set them on the rows, and we should be good from there. I think we're going to have to pick up. That's too tight of a turn. Trashman asked, do, will I do a series? Yes, we will run a series on this game. We'll probably switch between the two farms. Maybe we'll have like three separate farms. One that's just doing grain, one that has livestock. Yeah, there's a bunch to do on the game. Uh, once we get this AI worker, I'll show you guys more stuff. The off-road pack is pretty sweet. Dirt bikes, four-wheelers. You can run around town and stuff like that. Chris asks, have they considered uh, making a PC game out of American farming? I think that would be like down the road if that happened. It sounds like it's, um, to make a PC game, it's quite a bit more work and stuff like that. I'm on the hog farm, not the cattle or dairy farm. Is there going to be snow? There, there is not. There won't. I believe there won't be snow. So then to, let's see, we'll go to one of the rows and set this. So then what we'll do now is the rows only. And he'll kind of set on his path and then do the rows back and forth. But we got P and K. We need to go get some nitrogen. And you can spread it on the field before or after planting. I, don't, I think the cutoff point is when the corn is ready to be harvested or when it reaches maturity. Or once it gets too big. Yes, you can wheelie the dirt bikes. Let's sell this. So when you buy fertilizer or seed, you can always come back and sell what you don't use. And then there's the, the urea. What's the game? If you can't find the game, there's a link in the description to the game. You search Squad Bill on the App Store, and it'll come up quicker. But if you search American Farm, just scroll all the way to the bottom should be there Tate asks how do you sell fields I am don't quote me on this I'm 99% for sure that you cannot sell the fields once you purchase it so once you purchase a field it is final you can't sell it or you can't sell this I know you can't sell the, the fields you start out with in the game You know what, we're going to the other field first.
Raid crafts, the AI won't chop your corn, he just goes off field into the fence. He should be able to chop your corn, you just gotta make sure. Sometimes it's easier to set the AI right when you start the field, and it'll do it a bit, a bit more simple, but sometimes you'll, it might just be a thing where you started it weird or something like that. There we go. So that's what our corn looks like, like right after you plant it. And there you can see, this is, you guys should be able to see the difference in the color of the field so you can see where you're applying the fertilizer. Another super handy thing, because it does get a confusing, what you did and didn't spread. So we already put the VNK down and then now we're putting the nitrogen. And so when you spread both, it'll come up with this, what do you call it, a teal color? I call it a teal color. And again, the market is super important. So make sure if you're going to sell livestock, corn, soybeans, wheat, or milk, that you sell it at the right price. And we bought the we bought the pigs at a good price too. And make sure that we don't have any more corn to give our pigs if they do go hungry. But there's plenty of feed for the sows and we'll uh, we'll wait a second to finish planting by the time. But we can always speed up, speed things up. But first couple seasons we should get in the right now it's kind of slow we don't I mean we have guys working but we're kind of inefficient just starting out got to grind for a little bit and I think I don't know what we'll purchase first and again you can sell all your equipment you can sell your combine you can sell everything uh, all your equipment and then if you don't like how it starts out and you have a better way of making money so that's one thing I guess I didn't say There we go, we'll shut the door. Keep the combine in there for a couple days. We'll go check on our mama sows and see if they're making any piglets soon. Looks like they're sleeping. So again, if you're confused on something, run to the question mark. And then here, it takes you right to where you need to go. So sometimes that might be easier than kind of scrolling through the help menu and trying to find what you need. EJ asks, can we see Bossman play? He's uh, he's working on some stuff there. He's a part of the team at Squad Belt, so he's working on helping people and answering questions, stuff like that. And some people were thinking that, uh, were asking if the game was free, how much it is and stuff. It is $8 US dollars, and then it's free, or it's not free, excuse me, because it... Uh, it takes a lot of time. There's a lot of people who have invested their time and energy into it and stuff. So, just like just like anything, nothing is totally free. There we go. But it is a good time to um, ask this for, like, for example, a Christmas gift or something like that. I always ask my parents for Christmas gifts or something that I wanted or went out, raked the yard. If you still got leaves in your yard, that's a good way to make money. I always did some lawn care when I was younger. Shoveled the snow. I guess we haven't gotten snow yet, but some parts. Probably got a bunch of snow by now. What's up? It's flooding? This is... No, it's streaming. It's streaming. That's right. Oh, this is your YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, people were asking if they could see you play. I said you were busy. Uh... Here, I'll turn the camera. There we go. He just did, did that. It. I think our pigs are going hungry, right? You got any corn? We're all out of corn. We're trying to beat the... Uh, what should we show to? I, I can't... <laughs> I don't want to cheat in money. I would like to... I would like to buy a, a dirt bike. We'll look at the dealership while we're killing some time. You have it unlocked? Yeah, we got everything unlocked, everything bought. I need some wheels. Uh, well, no, I don't want to spend the money. Oh, I'm, I'm saving up. Yes. I'm trying to... So you got to just make more money? We gotta make more money. Maybe after I sell my first load of hogs, we can justify it. But we'll see. How many acres in it is in most fields? That's a good question. Anything we should show, Garrett, that I'm missing? That people are always asking there's, about? There's just so much, I don't know. There is. The market values see, change. Bro. See all the different plots. I feel like there's some stuff. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, the help menu is super important. If you guys are playing, a lot of people are saying they're playing the game right now as we're watching. Oh, this guy's done. Is that Garrett? I think 
Garrett. Yes, that's Garrett. We call him Bossman in the series that we got going. <laughs> FS Lover is having trouble purchasing in-game content. Are you on... What device are you on? Are you on iOS or are you on Android device? And if yeah, if you go to the Squad Built website, you can send an email to the support, and you can look into it further. It's not working. There is a email in the description as well. There's that email, if you need questions or actually want to contact the support. The game is eight dollars on iOS and Android, so App Store and Google Play. Boss Hog, is that my name? You could Boss maybe. Hog. Interesting. That was good. <laughs> there we go. VIP says, good idea. He's going to ask his mom for American Farming for Christmas. Yeah, that's what I always did when I was younger. Ask it for Christmas. That's always a good idea. Or there's always some chores to do around. I'm sure you could uh, clean the house a couple times for the next until Christmas and earn it. Always did chores. That was a good way to do it. the rest of the field. AI does not cost money. Right now I'm doing this myself, but no, it's not. Um, it doesn't cost you like 10 bucks an hour or something like that. So the AI is free. That's a good question because it would be harder to start out. Country Boy asked, do you know when Austin Farmer is going to stream? I'm not for sure. He might be streaming later. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to run into him. Move him. Move him. Oh, we nicked him. I'll be right. As long as the planter still runs, he should be about done. Beats Gaming says he just downloaded American Farming. Sweet. Let me know what farm you choose. And again, yeah, you don't have to do livestock. You can just prioritize. I, I think livestock is best for starting out the fastest way to grow your farm. But you can just do, like we can take all the corn just right down the road to the co-op and see what prices pay the most. missing some we're missing some dang it that's right if i miss a little it'll ding us a little bit but corn will still grow and oh, i'll be good i think cedar creek the hog farm is my favorite but i believe it's pine valley for the the cattle farm i need to spend more time on that i'll be we'll be doing both farms but for right now we're on the hog farm oh See, you turned the wrong way. Drop it down. Bob asks, "How much does a spreader cost?" It is. It comes. It comes with the, with the farm. So there's all this equipment we didn't have to purchase, and we started out with thirty thousand. That we get going on your feet a little bit, but you can sell it quite a bit. I actually think it's like one of the most 
expensive implements that we have on here. So if you don't want to use fertilizer, but it's really good to have fertilizer and it really gets you going because it's literally, at least on corn especially, it gives you like a 75% bump on yield, which is almost double. up this little corner and you can have this is just what you start out on too so there's different farm studs you can buy like for example the dairy farm right across the street you can buy that for two hundred fifty thousand dollars which you don't start out with and then you can do hogs dairy you can do all of them at once it's just what farm do you want to start out on you can pick between the two And I just started, I've been playing this save game for an hour. So right when we started the stream, this is what I have for the save game. That's cool. We'll see how much we can get done in one shot. Let's get this guy out of the way. And then we are going to hire out this guy. We should be good. right now I think that's our last field that we need to fertilize we'll check it again fertilizer yep so once we're done there what you can do to help speed things up we'll actually turn it to 50 next for right now and I think our animals are gonna go hungry but we should have very soon we should have piglets so that'll probably be our next thing beats game in says he's doing Cedar Creek Valley yeah that's what I'm on right now so beats just bought the game he's wondering which one to start Ransley asked how long we're going to stream for. I think I'll probably stream for a while. See how much we can get done in X amount of time. It'd be handy to have a seed slash fertilizer tender. Yeah. That would be. There, all, there are augers as well, and we'll get this truck set up. So what I was saying is there's going to be some piglets here fairly soon. And so we will, and there's actually some manure. So you got a little manure bunk right there. And there's manure spreaders and stuff like that. But right now, can't afford a manure spreader. And we'll just stick to the fertilizer spreader. Pretty sweet. go so here's the hog barns again run up to any question mark when you run up to it boom you hit i so if you're ever confused and you don't even know like what you're looking at you just run up to the question marks because some uh, there's a lot of info on the help menu so it's another and there's the, the sun setting so some people are asking like does the time change and stuff like that's pretty cool the stars are coming out sun setting starting to get purple pinkish I like the jeans shorts. We actually didn't even dress that crazy. You can dress really crazy. There's a bunch of, and I'll show you guys that as we're waiting for the corn to grow. If you go to store, well, the best, actually the best way to do it, you can just hit home. And I didn't even show you guys the dog. I call him Buster. He'll actually come with us and he'll ride in the truck. That's a really cool thing. Maybe a lot of you guys haven't seen. So you can go really crazy with the hair, sunglasses, the beard. I kept it kind of clean, I would say. You can literally go on American overalls. I mean, that's a little too crazy for me. We got construction. So if you're doing construction project, and if you got a, if you got like a wedding to go to, do we have pants to match it? We got some pretty, there we go. 
That's pretty sweet. I mean, you can literally dress up as cowboy. It's winter time. You need to dress up one, but let's put, I'll m mess up what my clothes were. There we go. Jean shorts. It's pretty warm out. All right, Buster is going to follow us, and I'll show you guys. We jump in the pickup truck. And then Buster's here. We get back in the pickup truck. This is cool. So Buster can actually ride with us. So we'll have him ride down with us once we, and I think, if we look at animals. Oh, we still haven't made any piglets yet. It'll be soon. And is our fertilizer done spreading? He's probably just finishing up. Go maps, fertilizer again. Yeah, I think it's done. Should be done after this spot here. Yep. And then now, if I want the corn to grow really, really fast, you just go settings and 100x. So that will help you uh, speed things up because it is single player. There is no multiplayer and things like AI and stuff like that keep your productivity up. Let's, where should we park it? This is actually where you can haul manure out of the hog barn. So same with dairy, cattle. There's manure that they produce. And we'll see what it says. So you just, again, run up to question marks. It's the handiest thing ever. Some animals produce liquid waste that can be used to fertilize fields. And then you can get a liquid manure spreader. But those, again, are pretty expensive. We're going cheap. The link is in the description to everything. Did anybody download this on iOS? Yes. Um, I did as well. So it's just on the App Store. Search Squad Built, not American Farming, if you're going to search it that way. Or there is a link that you can hit. There should We should be able to load up, guys. Soon. So you don't have to get out of the vehicles to open the sheds when that door icon comes up. Yes, I think we'll need the combine soon. Keegan says we met at the Farm Progress Show. I think I remember you, man. down at the farm progress show yes we actually had a booth and maybe this next we had a booth the squad built had a booth in Iowa at the farm progress show not this past summer but the summer before so we actually had this on demo people could play it a demo version like a year you know it'd be a year and a half ago so that was pretty cool are pigs ready there we go so that's what happened now. We'll jump out and show you guys. We now have baby pigs. There they are. And they are ready to move over. At first, they're piglets, and then... Oh, no, did I lock myself out? Dang it. Is this one unlocked? There we go. I think I locked myself out. Now we load up all the pigs and we'll see how many we got. I think the trailer, I actually forget what the trailer holds. So then what you want to do is all we're doing is moving them to a new location, which isn't far. Oh, we'll get backed up here. at backing up but I'll get better that's for sure we will unload all 22 into 27 so now we have 49 total pigs in there so there's stages of life they go piglets wieners and then hogs and right now some of the hogs are 212 like 200 pounds so I think they get to 350 which is pretty awesome Perfect, the corn. You can see it growing again. Right now, I have time on, what is it, 100, 
hundred X, which is pretty, which is pretty fast. So the corn's growing really, really quick. It's already what knee high right now, and soon it'll jump chest high, shoulder high. We'll try and catch it here. Pretty sweet, and that's that's where I got fertilizer that co-op right there. We'll show you on the map where we are again. This is where we are on the map in a town. Off to visit the town when we go and sell our livestock. There's the corn. When we go and sell the livestock, I'll show you guys the town. I think this smaller field will be ready first. And if I do the smaller field, then we should be able to have it uh, ready to go and plant it by the time we get done with the big one. So we'll do the small field first. Yeah, don't let the pigs out. That's right. When I was moving them over, that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, feeder hogs slash pigs. Yeah, there's a bunch of quicker turns. Knee high by the 4th of July. Where do you buy hay? So you can go to the co-op to buy hay bales, I believe. I haven't messed around with hay too much. You can't, you can't make it. There's no cutting hay, but there are hay bales. So if you start on the other farm, there's some, some in there for you. Keegan asks, is, can the crops weather? So like if you let the time go by too fast, like right now I have it on 100X, they they don't weather. That way, sometimes you'd forget it and not see. So right now, day speed, you see that at the top right, well, my screen's almost blocking it, but 100X, you can take it at 15 and then one, they will not weather. And the longer you keep them in the field, the moisture will go down. So I'll show you here what moisture these are at. We're harvesting, there we go, it's starting to turn. We're harvesting at, what was it? We were at 20%. So we'll see what this is. I think it'll be above that. The lowest it goes is 15. So if you leave it in the field for a long period of time, it won't weather, but it will dry down and you won't have to spend money drying it at the bin. So how do you get money fast? I mean, the fastest way is you can go to the store and money and you can spend make an in-app purchase but we're doing it uh we're we're gonna grind through i think the fastest way is livestock but you can do you can do a bunch of different ways but for me i think livestock livestock is the best way keeps you busy too there we go we're starting on the field let's check in on our animals so we had it on 100x we should be able to take it yeah let's take it out of 100x down to one because one thing about the animals is, yeah, the sows are out of, yeah, they're out of feed. So they actually won't make any more piglets. And the hogs are too. So because we increased the speed so much, they ate all their food, you know, a hundred times faster. We had the trailer full and we had one guy still not in there. Yeah, I think there's one guy we missed. We'll grab him. This game is not multiplayer.
there you go. So I think we almost got our whole barn full. So again, we're on number f uh, farm number four. Here's the hog barn. When they're yellow, that means they don't have any feed and you need to feed them. And actually, real quick, so you can see here growth. This is really important. They're seven months old, weigh 325 pounds. So we actually can, they're fully grown. So we shouldn't, shouldn't have them in the barn anymore because they're gonna keep eating our food and they won't grow anymore. We won't make, you know, there's, there's no point. So we'll load them up. Load, 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 load. How many do we have? We got quite a bit. So then we can see what's in the trailer. Hit trailer, and we have... I have to count how many I have. We have quite a bit of hogs. I actually think that's pretty much a full trailer. So we can sell these guys, and it is August time. So let's go market the uh, pork. And so the price is decent. I actually might go run there and sell this real quick. It's at $67. And yes, it's August, so... The price can go higher, but it looks like after this month, it's not going to be too pretty. So let's run down real quick. We'll have to keep an eye on the combine, too. It's actually probably getting pretty full. Let's check on it real quick. All right, let's, let's see. What do we want to switch to? Yeah, it's getting full. But real quick, I want to run, I want to run the formal on the gravity wagon. see where did I park yeah I parked it over here I want to run the 1206 here instead of the the um, on the wagon I think it can handle it a bit better and we'll switch the um, to the fertilizer wagon Buy another grain wagon. I think that would help a lot too. Or I could sell the one I have and then get a bigger one. I think that's kind of handy. Because if I have two, it, it would be a little tough to back up. That would be one thing I'd be a little bit worried about. Let's see. Where's our wagon? There we go. And that cornfield is ready to go too. So if you're trying to make as much money as fast as possible, you can use the, the time scale to speed things up. See the, oh, the combine did it. I don't think it made it around the field and it's already full. So we put down our fertilizer and that really helped because when we harvested this field, I don't even know if I got a full wagon off it the first time. So fertilizer helps a bunch, literally almost doubled your yield. sell tractors yes you can sell tractors by going to the three dots the menu equipment and then here's all your equipment and the farm mall I can sell it for 2400 sort of tractor and that's another way to enter vehicles so you can tow it you can sell it and you can drive it so if you don't want to tab through like I just did right there so you have you've been playing the game a bunch and you have all the tractors in the game and it's really hard to find which one you can always do that too Brian says I should run two of the green Brent carts. Yeah, that'd be good. I think right now we don't have enough fields for that to make sense. It doesn't take up that much time to stop and I don't fill up that quick. But yeah, I think I that'll be one of the moves. Yeah, and this is a this is a mobile game, so you play this on your phone instead of some of you guys probably play on console or PC. time so it won't be the top of the market but we're gonna sell these hogs and we should make pretty good money and the when we when we sell them the how much money we make will be covered by the webcam so I'll just tell you guys well you should be able to I'll, you'll be able to see the money go up but you won't see exactly how much all right we made it And there we go. So each one is $216. I think if the price was higher, we could sell them for more, but we'll sell all. And we got 4700 bucks, and that was just one load. And I actually think what we'll do too is let's see real quick. 
market animals. Yeah, we don't have any feed for them. We're actually gonna buy real quick. Here, one thing we can make sure we're doing this right. So you can see how many pigs are in. Yeah, we should be good. Let's keep the barn full. We're gonna purchase 27 of the wiener pigs, and then we'll bring them back to our farm and raise them. That way we can keep the barn full. We got a full trailer we're coming back with. That did cost us a little bit of money, but we should make more money. There's no AI for driving like vehicles down the road and stuff, but that would probably be a little dangerous. Crossing the creek. Oh, we forgot our dog. Next time. We forgot to bring Buster on the ride. I said I was gonna. We got a lot going on. Slam on the brakes. done with this field. Oh, he's still got quite a bit left. And is he almost full? There we go. We made it. We made it. And then you can just quickly hit unload all. So the barn is almost full. If we throw another, what is that, 17 pigs in there, it's going to be completely full. And if we look, some are smaller, but they're all kind of similar size from 90 pounds to 50. But we need more corn in there. I'll get this guy set up, ready to go. For when there's a new batch. Oh, rip. We made... And again, we can sell all our equipment and have like, I don't know, $150,000 if we sell all the equipment, but then we can't make any more stuff. But so far, we are up 13000 And we're ready to go there. The combine's just about full. Jason says it's really hard to hear. What's going on, Bolt? Hopefully it's not too hard to hear. Oh, we go. Oh, hopefully he doesn't run out. Or hopefully he doesn't fill up before we unload him. He looks pretty dang full. Slacking. Is there multiplayer? It's not multiplayer, Jaden. It's just single player. But it does look like it's multiplayer. That's an AI drive in the combine. Radass, he's been doing cattle. He's going to switch over to pigs. What should you do to it? You just got to keep up with the uh, how much corn you're feeding them. That's the main thing. You got to make sure they're fed. And then once they hit 350 pounds, you can sell them to the livestock yard. And like me, I didn't sell them at the perfect time, but I still sold them at a pretty good time. And you can make quite a bit of money. There we go. All right. You got to come back because I didn't empty the combine all the way. Yes, this game is, I'm, I'm playing on, I'm, I'm, I have a Xbox controller, and so your phone will have, you can actually use an Xbox controller. Some people like it at just using their fingers. Yes, I'm playing on a mobile device right now. You can play on your phone. I'm just playing on a tablet. You can, I play on my phone all the time, but for this, I find it, uh, it looks better on the screen if I play on a tablet. But yes, you can play on your phone too. I have the game on my phone. This is just for mobile devices. Like, if you guys saw the squad stream earlier, he was playing on his phone.
that's what the game's for. You you can't play the game on console, computer, stuff like that. Debbie says American Farm is looking good. Yeah, I, it's pretty dang fun to play right now. I did uh, when this game was this game has been in development for you know three years. I was playing this game, testing it out, seeing trying to find bugs and different features and stuff, and I. I think one time we were on a car drive, just driving down the road, and I played it for like 10 hours straight. Just the, uh, the beta version, not even the full thing, so... I thought it was really enjoyable. It kept you... Kept you busy, especially on like a car drive. Hunter says it's laggy. Hopefully the stream isn't too bad. And I was wondering how the stream quality was. Looks pretty good. Stream quality pretty good. Turn up the audio. Uh, I guess we, yeah, we'll just turn up the mic. I probably talk kind of quiet. We'll go. We'll try that. So, hopefully you guys can hear me a bit better. They were thinking it was a little quiet. The audio of the game or the audio of my voice? Do you ever find your truck after you jump? Matthew's asking if I ever found the truck that we got stolen on the uh, Billionaire series. I have not. Not yet. Holt says it looks good to me. Yes, the squad is... Squad and I are brothers. To be honest, it's laggy and blurry. That might be uh, your phone. Just maybe refresh the screen if you're uh, if you have bad internet connection. The screen might be blurry for you. Okay, what can we be doing while we're waiting? Uh, Hogan Gamer, thank you for the donation. Appreciate it. He's from Canada. Boss man's from Canada too. Let's see what we got here. We're almost done with the field, so we'll just wait. Don't need a million things going on at once. Joyce Farming says, now is this the fourth game, right? This is the, this is a brand new game just released today by uh, Squad Built. Is a software team. Oops. Don't do that. There we go. I got parked in the wrong spot. So this is the first game they've ever created, which is pretty awesome to see. Don't hit the ball. Don't hit the ball. Don't hit the ball. Have I crashed on the game? No, I've been playing hour 20 minutes so far and uh, the game, uh, all devices will play the game differently. And again, if somebody's playing on an older device that's not as capable as maybe newer models, you can go to settings and lower on the left side of my screen here below volume is quality and resolution and vegetation. So if you are on a older device, that is one thing if you're having uh, any issues and stuff like that. And we'll, yeah, we're empty with the combine. So we'll get started on the big field. This is 4.2 acres. What we did was just under two. So what you start out with here is six acres. But it keeps you pretty busy, especially at first. Drop her down. And there we go. We got to keep her moving. We got to keep the pigs fed, get the planter started. Put down more fertilizer and again you can do tillage i'm not right now i sold the disc that comes comes with the um farm so right now we're just focusing on getting pigs out the door and with not having that many big horsepower tractors yeah just for curiosity's sake let's unload this into the bin and again i'll show you guys and we should we'll see what moisture this corn's at so if you go to sell this corn we aren't selling it to the co-op we're giving it to the pigs for food but if you were, there's there's moisture that plays a role, and so you don't get as good a price because there's drying costs, and it's cheaper to dry it here at your farm, these two bins, than it would be elsewhere. So if you go to storage, so it's actually at 19.5%. So 
Let's jump out real quick and we'll turn the dryer on. Actually, I haven't been paying attention. I wonder how much fuel we have in our tractors. And hit the little fire emoji. Dryer bin uh, on farm number four is activated. 22 bucks. It's behind my webcam. It cost me $22. It's still running. It'll run for a little bit and then should be dry. There we go. So it was, it was another $7. It, I think we can hear it running. Yeah, if you really, really, if you listen really close, you can hear the fans going. And they turned off because we didn't put that much corn in there. So now it's dry. It should be at 15%. We'll double check though. Yep, it's at 15%, 148 bushels. How do you reset a vehicle? Yes, you can get a vehicle like wrapped up in a tree or something. That's a really good question again. So the best way to do it is, for example, say I put the truck in the creek. You go to hit the three dots, the menu up here, go to equipment, hit the starter truck there, and then hit the where it says tell. And it'll cost you $50, and it'll take it to the dealership. And then from there, it's it's reset. And that way you can get it if you're stuck in a creek, because I've got a few stuck in the creek before. we go get her unloaded yeah my seed probably actually does need to be re refilled here pretty quick uh, we should be good to plant this one acre but yes very soon we do need to check that out so there we go she's planting you don't have to till you can no till but if you do do tillage it does give you a little bump oh combine's full Run, run, run. Where's it? Okay, yeah. It didn't make it around the field, too. It's falling underneath. First gear. Drop her down. Get her unloaded. Xavier's saying, why can't he get it? If you're having trouble getting it, you can always, there's links and stuff like this too. Here we'll fall underneath and load on the go. Oh no, oh no, we're spilling. Get back underneath. There we go. And then they do two passes around the field and then they'll go down the rows and you don't have to do much. But once you get a really good big combine, you can do it yourself. But again, it's single player, so having the AI keeps you moving and grooving. Let's check our animals. This is the nicest part. The sows need food. The hog barn is good for a little bit. So we will run around the other side here. Unloading the corn. I think the a bigger wagon would be handy, or a bigger yeah grain wagon would be really handy. So I'll probably just keep on chugging. We'll drop that guy off there. Yeah, if we wanted to, there's quite a bit of, if we go to the dealership, there's quite a bit bigger planters. This is to, this is a drill here. You can do wheat and soybeans, another really big drill. I think that folds out pretty big, yep. And then that's the planter we have right now. And you can get a 36 row case center fill planter with tracks even. So that's pretty awesome. But we can't afford any of that. So we're starting out with what we got. And we'll kind of go from there. Yes, we could put... Yeah, that's a good... Country Boy says we should put extensions on it. That is a good idea. I'll show you guys that. I actually might do that. 
go dealership because just having one wagon at first is is good. So, forty two hundred bucks, and then it holds two hundred fifty. Well, it holds holds two fifty. Yep, and then you can get extension. So it'll almost hold, you know, another fifty percent. It looks like so. We could always do that. So the one we got, we could pull two, two, but I don't think I need two. Have we went deer hunting? I have not went deer hunting yet. I need to. Yeah, once we have really big fields, big tractors, and I could be doing it right now, but we're about done harvesting a field by the time we're planting the next one. But I could get tillage, and that would give me another big boost on yield, too. So maybe I wasn't smart for selling the disc, but I think we'll buy a bigger wagon. We need more fields, more different equipment. Is he empty? Yeah, I think he's empty. Let's see, who needs to feed more? Probably the hog. Hog barn eats a lot more feed. Yeah, we'll we'll feed it to them. So the best time, and we gotta keep track of this, is the market. Best time to sell pork is actually in April May time frame so like spring early summer it looks like the price might be the highest so we'll need to check back in then and see if we can sell then getting planted so that's what the corn stalks look like and we're just no tilling right into it i think we're probably over halfway done with this field just about halfway and i actually could be spreading some actually what what do we need let's go maps fertilizer again super important so what is it yeah p and k lasts two years i believe let's go to help menu and let's look so scroll. i think it's at the top right p and k Sure, lower fertilizing. There we go. And it looks like here's more of the yield bonuses. That's pretty important stuff. Let's go back to P and K nitrogen, three forms, NH3, urea, and liquid. And I think. Should I buy these for there? Yeah, but it looks like P and K lasts for for two years so if we do another batch of nitrogen then we'll be good on this field for one more year okay it's starting on rows uh, should we move yeah we should probably move this guy he's gonna get run over Yeah, there's quite a bit going on with this mobile farm game. Like right now, we're starting off with just the, the basic equipment. Like once you put a lot of hours into the game and grow your farm, like there's so much more to this game than what we're doing right now. But we're doing it. We're doing it the hard way. Look at that. Look at how efficient we are. We got a planter in the field, fertilizer spreader in the field.
Raid Crafts, you actually bought, accidentally bought more cells than you needed. Yeah, there's only four that fit in the farrowing pen. So what you can do there is you can actually go back to the livestock yard, sell them. And then if you want to, what I, starting off with with pigs, and what I didn't do is just keep bringing in... The sows only produce so many piglets, you know, so often. So if you actually, you can, you can buy more of the more of the piglets at the livestock yard of the wiener pigs and then and then that way you have your hog barn full for the first year but you might not have enough corn to feed them the first year you cannot there isn't any uh cutting trees or lumber or timber yeah there's none of that And again, guys, this, some people probably jumping in don't know what we're playing. This is American Farming. Just got released today by Squad Built, the team at Squad Built. And it's the first game they kind of ever released. And it's a, it's a mobile game. For those who are wanting, you can only, <clears throat> only play it on mobile devices, iOS, Android. See, it's, I think fertilizer spreading is one of the quickest things you can do. I forget how wide this swath is, but it's, I guess we could count the rows. And perfect. We'll get this guy set up for the next field because P and K last for two years. So we have nitrogen in this, and we'll put it on the next field, and that'll be it for what we can do with this fertilizer spreader. cool once you hit the uh, rim of like whatever you're unloading into you got them empty oh no we, we're going too slow oh no we're going off course I, I wasn't even paying attention but it does kind of let you aren't you don't have to worry you aren't spilling corn but it does look like you are it's kind of cool loading on the go let the, get out of the way, get out of the way. There we go. That guy there, plant your folder up, get out of the field. Max asks, how do you sell land? You actually, you can just, my understanding is you can't sell land you originally get the two fields on both of the starter farms. And I think once you buy land too, you can't sell it so it's kind of permanent but don't quote me on that find out for yourself but I'm pretty sure you cannot sell the land you have and yes we're almost out of seed so while we got some downtime I'll go show you guys how to fill this baby up with seed because eventually you'll run into this issue and there's Buster he's hanging out at the kennel oh no oh we knocked over the mail oh dang it the mailman's gonna be mad we knocked over the mailbox all right, hammer down. We're heading down the road. Yes, you cannot sell land on this game. Okay, I was 99% for sure that that's what it was. So, can't sell land. When you buy it, make sure you want it and do your research. Like, make sure it's close to your field and prices and all that kind of stuff. Make sure you don't click the wrong one and then you're all out of money and you don't have any equipment to farm it. So here's two, I believe there's two co-ops on the map. There's, there's quite a bit of stuff. This map is big, so it's nice to go that there's one local to this farm and seed. So there's all this stuff you can buy. So NH3, the gas, liquid nitrogen, P and K, urea, that's what we were spreading earlier, and then seed. So seed's not, that was 2,400 bucks. We'll just fill the planter. It's gonna last us a long time. We don't have to worry about it anymore. 
for probably a couple uh, seasons. Brody's Farming asks, can you put fertilizer on and then do tillage? I am 99% for sure sure that you can. And again, you can always check your fertilizer. So let's go to, let's go again, fertilizer settings. So hit map. And then you can see that we are in the process of, we're in the process of, this is probably a little con confusing, but the smaller field is the second season of having both PNK and nitrogen. After we harvest the corn that's growing on it right now, there won't be any fertilizer and you'll have to put uh, both applications and then right there it's uh yeah it's a it, it, it's a little confusing on that on the colors to explain real quick but you can i believe you can so, but if you're you can always check what stage of fertilizer you have on by using the map which is super super handy And technically, I can. Oh, the comments are slow. I can be planting that field while the comments going, but you can only have one AI worker on, and I gotta keep. Oh no, we hit the mailbox again. I gotta keep that guy going. Oh no, we're getting full. Let's roll. Yeah, and I kind of wanted to stream today for all those that are just playing the game today to answer your guys' questions and stuff like that. If I need uh, tips or tricks or are just confused about a certain part of the game it's kind of fun too and maybe you guys discover something that i don't know we are running over some corn here close your eyes we gotta get them unloaded yeah you can't run two ai workers in the field but i think there's maximum three ai workers can be going on the map so you could technically have what probably four tractors running at one time if, if the max is three Three plus, uh, three plus CU. We gotta come back and unload this real quick. That's what's nice being close to home when you're doing the livestock. You can just come back, fill them up here. Here we go. Get a bit closer. See, it's kind of tough to back up these wagons. They get a little crooked. Turn back around. Or they're... F ah, yeah, I think they're actually full. So we actually might need to put this in the grain bins. Yeah, they're full. They're full. Put it in the grain bin. There we go. So you dump it into this pit. And if I drive a bit closer, go into the pit. It goes up the yellow auger and then into the bin. Then when you unload it, it comes out the blue one. How do you buy land? I'll show you that in a second, but you go to the settings in the map well not the settings but the menu oh there we go the menu and then I think you should go back there. so you go to menu and then plots and you can also there's actually multiple ways to get to that to buy land and then like for example this field that we've been driving by 7.22 acres it's for sale field number 29 you can buy that for 73000 So everything that's red, we don't own. Like, okay, what is the biggest field on this game? Field 19, 622000 for 60, 61 acres. Well, there's a couple 20-acre fields that are close to ham. Home. This one would be kind of difficult to farm. It's kind of weird shaped. Creek running by it. Max workers is two. Okay, the, yeah, it, yeah, it might be two. I always thought it was three, but the ma okay, the max is two. Thanks for letting me know, guys. Yes, you spread P and K in the white fertilizer buggy cart looking thing. I got hooked up to the farm mall. And there's there's some really cool semis for those of you guys that like semis and stuff like that. Right now, I don't need one, but eventually. 
it would be cool to get the cab over. And this is the truck we're starting out with. You can get the squad built truck, four door. Looks like an eight foot work bed. And you can go mud flaps. You can customize it a bunch. Standard sunroof. I don't, I mean, that's quite a bit more money. Bumper, stairs, toolbox. Dang, you can really trick out the truck, so. Go animals, see how these guys are. We got plenty of food there. And plenty of food there, so. Can actually, probably, that field's done planting. And so here, I'll actually, some of you guys were asking like how the fertilizer applications work, like if you till it over and stuff. And again, I'm not using, I sold the disc on here, so I'm not using that. But we'll look at the map real quick. I was talking about this earlier, so you can see. Might be a little tough to see against the green, but we're now putting down the second application, the second pass of nitrogen. So you can see a little pass you're doing. Hunter asks, can you rent stuff? You cannot. Currently, you, you cannot rent stuff. But you can sell the stuff you buy, the equipment. And if you guys, farm sim fanatic, do you know why my game would keep crashing? That would be a good question. I would be curious what device you're using, farm sim fanatic. And then if you do have questions in the description, there is squad built support email at the bottom. And if you guys have any questions about the game, there's an email and there's a team that will answer your questions. But I, I'll try and answer as many as I can. How are you so rich already? I sold the disc. What, that gave me $11,000 and change. I sold a load of hogs and I'm kind of just being as cheap as possible. So I haven't bought anything. You start out with 30,000. And we are an hour and 47 minutes into this save game. So we will keep this guy going. Hunter Sh Schaefer asks, will there be updates in the future? There's probably, they're working on updates right now. Uh, most likely so yes there'll be updates there'll be improvements to the game I can almost guarantee that but I'm not a part of the uh, a part of the team on that but yes they're always updating there's fixes bugs stuff like that they are working on making the best game possible all right we don't need to and for uh, I'm pretty sure pretty sure like for example if I let the spreader go in the corn there then it harvested it I believe it wouldn't count. So, like, stuff like that. Farm Symphonatic 6th Generation iPad. Interesting. It should be... Like, I haven't... should be fairly smooth. So, you're on iOS. Um, can you start a slower house? Not too sure what you mean by that. Hunter asks, will they add more brands? Yes. That is, that is the goal, to add more brands. Carson asks, is it easy to make money? I... So I played the beta version. Now this is a different version I'm playing, but it takes a little bit to uh, to earn it the right way and play the game. But once you get it, once you get more equipment, you can make more money. And I would do soybeans or wheat, but right now we just start off with the corn head. And the corn heads are pretty expensive. Combine's pretty dang expensive, stuff like that, so. Yeah, and this is a this is a mobile game. So you play it on mobile devices, iOS, Android. Buy it on the App Store, Google Play. One thing I want to do, you can like again, you can sell all the equipment. Oh no, we're missing some, and go a different route. But I think the most important PC equipment is probably the fertilizer spreader because we're almost making double the amount of corn per acre by putting down the fertilizer. 
and it really pays for itself. So, but you could se sell it. I think it's fairly expensive if you wanted to run different equipment. on the go. And, yep, yeah, we're full. We're full. We gotta get moving. go right to the auger because right now we can speed up time probably a little bit unload it into bin number one car ice is actually going over the side it is not it is just animation so you aren't spilling corn that'd be good because I'd spill a lot of corn but it is a cool little animation they put in so they have a lot of a lot of little details that Make the game feel like really realistic with the corn spilling over the side and stuff, but no, it's not actually going off on the ground and you're losing some. Yeah, I, I totally forgot to show you guys the. Here, let's stay on this side. Show you guys earlier. I'll show you guys more of the dealership if you guys don't have the game yet. Here are literally the dirt bikes. You can pop wheelies on these. Maybe at the end of the stream, we'll splurge and buy a dirt bike. 54 horsepower. You can go 50 mile an hour on them. A three-wheeler, they say those are pretty dangerous, but it would be cheaper. We actually, you know what? We're going to get a three-wheeler because I'm, I'm kind of cheap. I don't want to spend the money on it. You can get trailers, move hay bales on them. Gooseneck, it's nice. Our starter truck has a gooseneck, too. And you can, you can switch between. You can go 40-foot trailer, which is obviously more expensive. And then if you want to haul a combine, you hook up with a semi. You got to get, you know, it's a two-part trailer. And then you can get the old cab over. Looks like $90,000, 425 horsepower. And then dual exhaust. That thing looks mean. So you can haul your combine down the road. This probably is it would be a splurge to go with the uh, three-quarter ton. Bumper, stairs, toolbox. Let's just... Okay, let's customize it all out. Aluminum. Alum which one's more expensive? We'll go aluminum grill. Mud flaps. Sunroof. Wheels. Let's see what the wheels are. Standard aluminum. 500 bucks. Standard black. All right, let's go black. Uh, we'll go aluminum wheels. Bumper. Toolbox. So you get a new pickup. 44000 That's actually... It's not terrible. Unload the rest of the corn in here. And I will. It'll keep unloading even when you're running it. That's kind of handy. So now that nobody's actually running in this field, but. Uh, you know, there's no hired worker. I can then hire this guy. Gotta make sure to move the combine out just real quick. So if we can't move it in time, then we don't have to deal with that. And run into the planter, or run into our tractor, move this, because I think the planter is going to come by in a second. And our planter is rolling. And we'll finish spreading nitrogen on ourselves and i think we'll let the time go and we'll i think here's where the payday happens we've been saving up all our well we've been you know kind of using all our corn for for our pigs and so now when the pigs mature they weigh like 350 pounds when they're fully grown then we'll go in and sell them and i think we're gonna make like we should have like i think seventy thousand by the end of this 
it'll, it'll depend how many hogs we get from it. How do you get fertilizer? You take this buggy right down. You can actually see it from here. This is the starter field to the co-op. And to find the co-ops, you go to the map and hit hit the three dots, then go locations. And on the right, there's a legend for you. And it shows where the elevators and bale purchase. So you can purchase bale at the elevators slash co-ops. And there's a little seed bag there. Some of you guys are um, are probably wondering what kind of game this is. It's a mobile game, and so that's why maybe the graphics don't look as good as other, you know, PC or console games. So you're limited to the the mobile device, like your phone, for example, doesn't have the like computing power as a console, Xbox, PS4, PS5, or like a computer. So you. If we, if the graphics look, looked really good, then everybody, well, then everybody would be crashing. And if the game was like really, oops, wrong button. I'm still kind of getting used to all the buttons. There we go. How do you get your phone on your screen? I'm. Uh, how I do it is I have it plugged into a like um, Elgato game capture, but there's a bunch of different ways to do it. So it just like plugs into the phone and then it goes to HDMI. So you guys probably know better all the other ways to, to do stuff like that. Oh, don't run into the planner. All right, fertilizer's on. I missed that spot real quick. We'll hit it. across the field before the planter gets done. Put it in the shed. We might just keep it out. We're so busy. Can you play with friends? It is not multiplayer. It's single player, but you can play uh, you know, next to people, compete, see whose farm is bigger. Carl Christensen, dang man, that is uh, that is awesome. That sounds sounds like quite a bit of uh, that's awesome that you got that going. Let's see here, real quick. We'll let's see. We'll fill up uh, a wagon real quick and tell. Right now, what is going to speed you guys up and get your farms to be the best possible is make sure you go hit the three dots in settings and go to 100x. So it kind of keeps things moving. That way you don't have to wait for stuff to grow as fast. And then the pigs can grow up fairly, or the hogs, whatever you want to call them, grow up fairly, fairly quick. So they are fed good and they will grow. They're about half mature, half growth. And then the sow should have some... So I'm going to, uh, we have 83. So we have 17 more spots for them. And we have 500 bushels we brought in there. Yeah, and I think I'm going to get a new, I think we'll get a new wagon. And I'll show you guys the best way when you purchase a new piece of like, you know, an implement or something you have to pull. The best way to bring it down to your place as quick as possible. Because sometimes 
the map is big. There's a lot to do on the map, so sometimes it's kind of a long drive. We'll pay it. We'll at the top of the map. It says it's September right now, so we're gonna pay attention. So it's just getting to prime time, fall time, harvest time. Yeah, this pen doesn't take very much feed. There aren't that many pigs in there compared to the other barn. There's a lot of pigs in that barn. Are there any baby pigs? Not yet. We'll have to keep an eye out for them. Keep them loaded. So right now, time's going really, really quick. Like I said, 100x, 100 times what the normal time would be if you go to animals. We're keeping them fed good, but if you left it on that, then the feed would go down to zero, and the hogs would be, they wouldn't grow anymore. They'd be hungry. Uh, what is American farming played on? Any, um, not any mo. Uh, cell phones, tablets, it's like an iPad. I am on a, I'm playing on a tablet. I play on my phone too, but right now I'm just on a tablet. And so you, uh, mobile devices, iOS and Android, but no, it's not on computer, Xbox, stuff like that. I think we will, uh, when we sell this, when we sell this load of pigs, we will buy a three-wheeler. I will spend, I think it was like somewhere around $2,000 for the three-wheeler. But we got to keep, because, because the time's on 100x, the hogs are eating a lot of food. Actually, real quick, we'll throw it down to 1x. And then, so we have piglets. They're eight pounds. They were born like a, a week ago, it says, so. Some piglets were, I'll show you guys the piglets. There we go. So the piglets were born and they will grow up a little bit more once they can walk on their own. Oh, I parked the trailer in the way. Oh, hopefully they didn't ding it. But once the piglets are more grown up, then we will move them over to the larger barn. But we do have to keep an eye on. This is something I messed up last time. Go to pork. The price is best in April, May, slash June. It's so like start of summer. So we got to keep an eye on that. What's my favorite tractor right now? Is the 1206. I think next tractor we're going to buy. Let's go tractors. We'll show you guys more of the tractors. There are some pretty big tractors. I I just like this. The 90, 9370. What's the starter horsepower? 360, 400. I like the old style. The hood looks really cool with the gray. Some of this stuff is DLC, but when there's a DLC, there's always an option for a very, very similar tractor. But the 1086, I think it will be our next one. We'll throw some duels on it. Maybe that'll be our tillage tractor. And there's newer stuff too. So a bunch of stuff going on. There's versatile as well. Four wheel drive versatile, 620. 620 horsepower all right it's December now our planter is going are our pigs almost grown up I'm kind of playing the game really fast once you guys get good at it you can really grow your farm really really quick we'll load all these guys up So those piglets turned into um, feeder pigs, and we will unload everything we possibly can. So we filled it full. The barn capacity is actually at 100. Wait a second. I think I might have. Let's see there. So there you can see the pigs that we brought over. I should be able to unload. Yeah, I actually can't unload them back, so... Some of these guys, I think, are going to be fully ground. Let's check it out. So you're kind of driving back and forth. 
click the barn. Some of them, yeah, they aren't fully grown yet. We should. Can you tour the map for us, asked Ryan. Yes, we're going to leave the farm super, super quick. The corn is growing. The planter is running. It's so like, for example, we were running the planter as the time was at 100x, so some stuff grew, and then some stuff, obviously, I'm just planting. So you can get little different variations in the field if you do what I'm doing. And let's, should be good to unload the rest of this. How do you sell vehicles? Super good question. Go to the menu and equipment. And if I want to sell my truck, I can sell it for 4,000 right now. You just click on, you can scroll up and down this menu. Fertilizer cart can sell it for 10. Livestock trailer. So if you don't want to do pigs and you just want to focus on grain, what I would do is I would sell the livestock trailer. What else would I sell? You could probably get away with selling one of the tractors in a truck. And then you can focus on just doing grain. You can get focus on just getting another combine. You can harvest really fast. You could uh, get a soybean head, sell the corn head, stuff like that. Can I drive the other Ford? I don't have enough money to buy it. We're saving our money up. All right, check animals. Hog barn. They are good on. They should be good on feed. All right. Some hogs are about to be big. Look at all that. We have 100 hogs in here. And what month is it? It's December. So in a few months, I should actually get some more feed because they're going to be hungry. So that's why you want to keep all your corn. Otherwise, right now, we'd run out of feed for them. We have so many hogs in there. It kind of keeps us busy. And we, yeah, this is going to be it. This is all the corn we have left. We got to wait for this stuff to get big, which it is. And then we got to harvest it. Oops. I was not paying attention. Did I ever play Farm USA 2? I, I did for a little bit, yeah. Let's unload. This is all the corn we have. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully it lasts us. And I bet you. Oh, that is so cool. That's a cool shot right there. I bet you we should be have some that are full. There we go. So they're 325 pounds. And for those of you guys that are doing the hogs, it's very important. I'm actually going to lower the time real quick. It's very important that you turn down the time. This will be a little something that you might not know turn down the time if you're if there's a lot of hogs that are fully grown because what they do they still eat your food but they aren't getting any bigger so they're eating all your corn your feed that's in there and they and it, they're taking it up for the other pigs so make sure to get them out of there or slow down the time so you don't waste all your feed on them i can unload the rest of these guys and go to the barn and load out the rest of the hogs. So we, I forget how many fit in here. Quite a bit. So we're all out of corn anyway. So we're gonna we're gonna run out of feed by the time. Okay, we're go. Okay, we should probably drive slow. We got a bunch of hogs back there. That's my bad. Sometimes go quick. Matthew asks, is it released on mobile device? Yes, it is released on the App Store, Google Play. There is a link in the description as well as the top of the chat to the app store google play store so it's it's released and if you're go to the app store and if you're searching it yourself right now you need to search squad builds so squad and then b-u-i-l-t one word and the game will pop up right now if you search american farming like you guys probably search on the app store all the time search like a game or an app that you're trying to download it pops right up well the game just released so one little trick, search American, search squad built instead of American farming, and it should pop up. And if not, just keep scrolling down the list in it, if you're looking for it. It is not on console, this is a mobile device, Jackson. Just on mobile, iOS and Android. But here's the map. This is the drive, it's kind of 
kind of a little bit. There's the dealership right there, the squad built dealership. Here's another elevator. There's the town. So as we're waiting, let's turn the time up. Hit the brakes. That's not good. That was a little fast. We'll turn the time to 100x. And the little dot down there, you guys, if you're playing it, 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 it's only there for a little bit. There's a little dot, and that means the game is saving. So if the game ever just lags for a second, it's um, it's saving the game. That way, if you crash or act, you know close out your your device, then it's still saved for you. All right, settings are on 100. Let's check animals again. Market, pork. All right. Time is on 100x. Let's cruise around town real quick. I'll show you guys. A lot of you guys are asking about the town. There's a dead end right there. We'll cruise around a little bit. Here's the town. You got four-way stops everywhere. Bunch of places. Where can you get nitrogen? Beats ass at the co-ops. Same place you get. Um, there's a little co-op spot. Pull up. There's a pallet of seed and stuff. And somebody else is asking. Oh, no. I was not paying attention. Oh, no. We weren't paying attention. Oh, I hit the fire hydrant. Oh, no. Let's jump out real quick, guys. Oh, no. This isn't good. How do I stop it? All right. Let's try and step on it. Can I step on it? Come on. Oh, that's not working. Oh, that thing is busted off. All the bolts are snapped. Okay, uh, let's see. Is anybody looking? Come on, get in my truck. Oh, no. Let's peel out of here. Let's just head out of here, guys. Hopefully, the cops don't get me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Run out of town here. Let's... What are we going to do? We got to wait. Okay, it is March. In April and May, the prices are going to go up. There's Joe's Diner. Can we hang out at Joe's Diner? Here, let's pull off here. Nobody's going to see us. Nobody saw us. All right, let's cruise down the street. So this is Main Street. This is actually another place you can go to Thomas Farm Realty. So you can come here and you can purchase. You can purchase stuff. So come down to to the bank. But, yeah, hopefully, hopefully nobody catches us. Okay, it's March. Let's see what prices are right now. So you go to Market. Pork. We are waiting for prices to come up. They're just about to go up. So the blue, the blue line, that squiggly line, is what uh, what they did kind of last year. And then the white line, horizontal one, shows us like what price it is. And so according to the blue squiggly line, it should go up in April, May, June time frame. You cannot sell the land in game once you buy it. You got it, but you can you can um you can buy more places. Okay, now it's April. Let's see what the price is. Market price, pork. All right, we might we'll wait till May to get the peak peak price. Then we'll lower the time and just start hauling. There's a gas station there. Here's Rolling Coal Co. What is this place? It says opening soon. What does it say here? Rolling Coal Customs. Opening soon. That would be a pretty cool place. Looks like a nice shop. They're probably just building it. Dang, that's pretty awesome. How do you get pigs? Jump in your truck and livestock trailer that you'll have at the beginning come down to the livestock yard it's all the way if you look on the map all the way in the bottom right hand corner of the screen so the blue is where my farm is and all the way up here and you drive down the road all the way down there and if you hit locations you're trying to go to location number eight the hog barn or number six All right, it's May. We will turn the time down so the month doesn't change on us. Market price. Here we go. Pork's at all-time high. And we will sell this guy. Hit sell all. So each one's going to sell for $233. We have quite a bit in here. Sell. And we got 4900 You can't see it. It's behind my 
find my webcam. Could move it for you guys, but I don't know where I put it. But now we have 45,000 buckaroos. That's pretty good. And let's head down. We'll actually, uh, we'll get Buster, my dog, and we'll bring him in with the truck because we're going to be driving for a little bit, hauling pigs back and forth from the livestock yard from our barn down to the, the cell point. So we'll throw the dog in the back. Yeah, Chris, it's a, it's a pretty fun game. I'm, I'm enjoying playing it. Kind of keeps you, uh, there's a lot to do. It keeps me busy trying to make as much money as possible, but I think uh, we've been going for two hours now. You start with 30,000, but you have to kind of bought some equipment you know input stuff like that and we will see i probably have i think like five trips that i'll make each time i'll make just under five thousand dollars so we'll, we'll have quite a bit of money michael asks, how do you sell a grand you can take your wagon right to the co-op same place you buy seed fertilizer you can take it to the elevator and there's a sell point it'll be like a, a great you drive over and then you can sell it but right now I'm not selling grain, I'm using it to feed the hogs, and then the hogs is what I'm selling. We'll load up and load all. Perfect, so you can fit 23 hogs in here. Well, I better make sure. I believe all the hogs, unless some didn't grow up, because we put different hogs in here at different times. Yeah, see, some are still not fully grown. Perfect. All right, we'll pick up Buster. I forgot him. He's probably all alone. He's sad. All right, Buster, jump in. See Buster, come over here, Buster. There he's coming with us. Perfect. Jump in. All right, Buster's in the back. Hang on, I'm not the best driver, man. I think he already knows that. Yeah, and the squad just commented in the chat. If you ever had issues early on, we had a little issue at the release. If you hit, and I'll show you real quick. So, if somebody's on, especially an Android device, there were issues earlier today. So, settings, the bottom right-hand corner above save and exit, you can hit restore purchases. Hit restore purchases. And if you had any issues, if you hit that button, it'll recorrect um, your issues. If you had bought a DLC at one point, it will then award you them since you already bought them if there was an issue with your purchase. So, good question. You Somebody must have asked that. The truck goes, I think, 50 mile an hour. I don't know if Buster, Buster likes the wind. We'll go 50 mile an hour. See if he's holding. Yep, he's still holding on back there. There's a little bump on this bridge, though. Once we sell all our hogs, I think we will, some guys will kind of answer all you guys' questions. Some people are wanting to go over a few. Oh, did I make the right turn? Oh, I went too far, I lost track. Oh no, it's a left. Dang it. Don't get stuck in the ditch. Yeah, we gotta go down this road. We can show you guys some of the things that you guys are wanting to see. And then we will buy, with the money we saved up, a three-wheeler. And we'll go rip some ditches, hit some jumps. I'm playing on an S8 tablet, but I also play on my phone quite a bit. But just for this, the reason why I'm playing on a tablet, I think it's a bit better picture on the screen. All right, slow down here. We don't want to throw Buster out the back. Slow it down. There we go.
go. Time to unsell or time to sell. Sell all of them. And we that we sold that for fifty three hundred bucks. So we got yeah, we got fifty one thousand dollars now. Things are going up. And what we're gonna do now, and this will help things move. We're actually as we unload, we're gonna buy wiener pigs, fill our trailer completely full. And all those figs just cost $300, and then we're going to bring them back. This is kind of a uh, this is a hack for you guys that are wanting to play the game as fast as possible. And you're doing hogs. You can actually buy it. So our trailer's full again. You can see that. And then we'll drop these guys off in the hog barn. And we'll pick up a full load of hogs and bring them back. Thank you, Lucas, for watching. Glad you liked the videos. Kellen, uh, Kellen asks, is there any multiplayer? There is not, but there is AI to help you keep things moving. Yeah, the game is the game is really fun so far. I mean, I've been playing for about two and a half hours, and it's kept me going. I think I played, I was saying earlier when we were testing the beta version to make sure everything was good and kind of test everything out. I think I played for like 10 hours straight one time on a long car drive uh, on my phone. Case asks, will there ever be multiplayer? Yeah, they're, the, um, they're always working on updates and in increasing things, so down the road it would be cool to have multiplayer. We could be harvesting our corn too, but I think I will leave the corn ready to harvest for next time once we're done because we uh, we should be good. There we go. And so what I do, plenty of space in the barn to unload all 27. Then you switch or unload the trailer into the barn, and then you load up all the hogs. So, doing pigs keeps you really busy. I think it's the most lucrative way to make a lot of money, but you just got to make sure you sell at the right price. Sell at the right time and the right price. So, during May, April, June is the best time. Matthew, yes, you can get it on the App Store. We're hauling. How do I get so much money? Feeding corn to the hogs, selling the hogs to the livestock market? And we take a right turn. I think though there's two routes to get here. I think I'm going the fastest way. All I gotta do is go down, take one turn. But the one thing about it is a little bit of a drive, so like maybe down the road, if you're doing hogs, there's there's different hog barns you can buy that are like in the area. We're driving by all this stuff that's for sale, but obviously it costs a lot of money. But if you farm a bit closer, then you don't, and you can use a semi and a bigger livestock trailer. Because I, well, I think we only have 22 of the full-grown hogs back here. Uh, Zook, thanks for the donation, appreciate it. So if you have a semi trailer, gosh, I think you can hold like 40. Maybe even more. I think you can hold like double. So right now, like all I'm doing is hauling back and forth. If I had a semi and a big livestock trailer, each load would be a lot more. There we go. And sell all. That time we made 5,800 bucks. So a full load of hogs was 5,800 bucks. And again, I'm going to buy wieners, 27 wiener pigs. What are they? They're they're about a month old. There we go. Let's head out again. There's the town. So you're you're pretty much driving all the way to town. 
some of you guys were asking what is the town's name it looks like it's Grims Grimsby is that how you call it G R M G R I M S B U I is what the water tower looks like you can kind of see it there Rockin' Lazy RJ, it currently is not multiplayer compatible. Can you buy cars and trucks? I'm going to buy a three-wheeler once we sell all of our full-grown hogs. See how much money we have and we'll buy a three-wheeler here. Yes, it's on the App Store and Play Store. Um, it's on both those. Slow it down, down shift. We don't slam on my brakes too hard. Yeah, right now one of the things probably getting a semi. I think I'll get a bigger, bigger wagon for next season. Sylvia Davis, you search up Squad Built on the Play Store. I, uh, that was for the the App Store. If you if you're looking on the App Store, Squad Built is the best way to search it currently. And then if you search American Farmer on the Play Store, or click the link in the description of this live stream, or there's all there's multiple links on this live stream that you can click, and it'll take you right there. All right, how many more loads are we doing? We filled this thing full, so unload all. 27 and then there we go and I think that I accidentally no that's it trailer that is it so now we have 81 hogs in here so our next load will bring back what 19 and we'll have 100 100 in here things are going good our corn is ready to harvest we're going to go buy a three wheeler Thanks for watching the videos, Matthew. What's up, Power Boys LLC? What's going on, Big Cat? Little downshift here. There we go. How do you get more money in this game? <clears throat> well, you can uh, do like me and grind, or you can. Uh, there, yeah, there, people were asking, how do you like get a lot of money really quick in the game? I mean, the best way, well, I guess the fastest way is there's a uh, the squad built store. I'll show you that once we unload here. Aiden, thanks for that. Appreciate it, man. Matthew rides dirt bikes all the time. Yeah, the dirt bike is 8,800 bucks. I'm not willing to spend that. We work so hard. I'll buy the uh, cheaper three wheeler. Should be good enough for me. Josh says American Farm is the best game. Heck yeah. All right. This is our last sale of the day. Oh, we went by it. Last sale of the day. Here we go. Here we go. This won't. We're only like three quarters full. Sell 3600 bucks. So we have 60 grand. And what did I say? We needed 19. Here, let's look real quick. <clears throat> Farrowing pen. How many do we have in the farrowing pen? Let's see. Oh, we got quite a bit. Okay, we should be good there. So we don't need to buy any because we have a bunch of uh, baby pigs that are ready to be moved over. All right, let's drive to the dealership, and we are going to spend our hard-earned money. Not that much. We're going to, you know, if we earn some money, we can spend it. We're going to buy a three-wheeler. I think it's the cheapest off-road vehicle we can buy. So I'm going to need you guys help picking it out. And somebody was asking, like, where do you get seed to? You purchase seed right here. So, yeah, let's just jump out of the vehicle. There we go. Buster, he's coming with. So, this is where, here we're at the co-op. There's two co-op locations, two elevator locations. You can buy seed and all your inputs, like the nitrogen we were talking about, P and K, 
Breaker, all that kind of stuff. But let's run over to the dealership real quick, and we're going to buy a three-wheeler. Oh, and somebody was asking how to cheat in money. Well, who was that? That was Power Boys. So you can go to the squad built store if you hit the top middle button, the dealerships, the shop store. And then, I mean, you can get $10 million right now for 20 bucks, but that's, or you get 50 for a dollar. So 50,000. So we, we spent a lot of time. Here's the off-road pack, equipment pack, Frontier, all these awesome clothing packs. But it is time. We're going to buy the three-wheeler. It is time. Here we go. Off-road. So we can get the utility ATV. Let's see. 10,400 bucks. I bet that thing's pretty smooth. Five gallons, tank, 40 mile an hour, roughly top speed. Racing ATV. Okay, the racing ATV will go 48 mile an hour. 40 horsepower. It's actually cheaper. Interesting. And then dirt bike, what is that? Again, 48 mile an hour. But that's 8,800 bucks. I'm thinking more my speed right now. It still goes 40 mile an hour. 2,600 bucks. What should we buy? Perfect. Yeah, what should we buy? Everybody comment. I'll let all the comments roll in on what we should buy. Do I buy a dirt bike, the racing four-wheeler, the normal utility ATV, or the three-wheeler? Keep in mind, we're trying to save money. And, but whoever, whoever, whatever you guys want me to get. Somebody was asking about, I am playing on an Xbox controller right now. So if you go to the help menu, scroll all the way to the top, scroll down a little bit, hit the controller, and you can see everything, all the controls, how to move, how to hit the vehicle, shift up, down, buttons, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to play on controller, which is pretty comfortable, that's how I like to do it. Three-wheeler dirt bike. I'm seeing a lot of dirt bikes. Work ATV. Racing ATV. Uh, I'm seeing some three-wheelers. Three-wheeler or dirt bike. I'm I'm thinking we're going to go... I think dirt bike and three-wheeler are even. Can you give a shout-out to Squad Built? Yeah, shout-out to... Yeah, shout-out to Squad Built. They built this game. So Squad Built is, when we first loaded in, is the team that built the game. A bunch of developers, designers, stuff like that. So they spent the last three years of their time, you know, building this game. And that's what, and they'll keep updating it if there's issues. And then adding to the game as well. Like people are asking about multiplayer. Then they can add to the game as time goes on. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, everybody's saying dirt bike. I will, everybody wants me to get the dirt bike. Guys, that's like two loads of hogs. We're going to get the dirt bike. Everybody's saying get the dirt bike. Okay, new dirt bike or three-wheeler. So much cheaper. The smart decision would probably be the dirt, the three-wheeler. Everybody's saying dirt bike. I'm going to go with the three-wheeler. It's cheaper. I'm trying to save money. There we go. So we bought the three-wheeler. 2600 bucks. And there she is. She's all the way down there. So you got to run down to it. <clears throat> there we go. We could always quickly tap to it too. And yeah, we got a little mess going on there. But we're going to celebrate the end of the stream. We made a heck of a lot of money. We made up to 60 grand. Spend some of it. And we're going to go. Let's go rip around town. Let's go back to the farm. Rip around town. I, I saw this jump earlier. Hee -hee. There we go. That is sweet. And there we go. I think we can pop a wheelie. I got to figure out how to do that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go down. The, we're going to pop a wheelie down the road. I should probably get off this guy's field. Oh, no. Up on the side. Heck, yeah. Here we go. We're popping a wheelie. Oh, can I? Oh, I can't wheelie on this thing. Yeah, that's what I think you can you can wheelie on dirt bikes in one of the racing four wheelers. Can't wheelie on the on the three wheeler. That's probably smart though, because it's a little dangerous. There we go. There should be some pretty good jumps here. We could go into the creek. That would be scary. Uh oh no. Yep. The ditches. Oh, that's a pretty good jump. 
we go. We're getting some air. The suspension's pretty sweet on this thing. Holy biscuits. You can almost jump the whole entire road. All right, we'll head back to the farm here. There's some pretty good jumps back home. I wonder if we could jump a creek. Oh, yeah, let's see. We can just rip off road through the trees. Oh, no. I almost hit a tree. The suspension's pretty dang good, though. Here we go. Here's a jump. Squad built. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday. Send the days. Get the row crop stagger. We don't have enough money for that. All right. Floor it. This should be a little, little jump there. Heck, yeah. Ripping and gripping, boys. All right, if we go, I believe, in this ditch here, we're going to go ride this ditch. Watch out for the trees, the power lines, maybe, maybe not the power lines, I think. All right, hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh, no, we hit a sign. Okay, somewhere in here, I thought there was a jump. We kept driving up and down this road. I thought I saw a really good jump in the ditch. pretty sweet so now we got a three-wheeler back home when we get bored in between harvest in between feeding the pigs go out on your three-wheeler and just rip some trails heck yeah let's get some donuts we'll wrap up the stream hitting some donuts oh no i was hit the shed there we go sweet all right guys that is it i think we're gonna wrap up the stream here so we did like a little over two hours on the hog barn. We made like six. Well, we got our bank count up to 60,000 and we have a new, uh, new round of hogs that are in there. Our corn is ready to harvest. This is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So if you guys have any questions, we'll wrap up the stream answering some questions about the game and stuff like that. But again, if you were playing the game for, obviously it's the first day it's been out then I really recommend hitting, if you have questions on how to do stuff, hit the help menu and it will show you what to do. Or if you're like on your farm, you're like, oh, what is this? Walk up to the question mark, hit the I. It's kind of like an info button. So wieners are introduced to a hog barn to be fed out. Here they become hogs as they reach two and a half months old. Hogs can be fed. So you can kind of read through it all. And it'll show you what is, uh, what is up with all of it. So. Talks about the co-op, fill points, livestock market, dryers. We're showing you guys the dryer bins. So, very good. Is there? There is not traffic. There are stop signs, but you can take those out. You can run into them. So, thank you guys for watching. I think that's going to be it. The squad might be streamed tomorrow. We, I, I might stream tomorrow, too. We'll see. We'll have more videos coming out on this. Different ways. Showing you different. Yeah, there's so much about the game. I mean, I'll go through the... Everybody probably wants to see the dealership more. There's so much you can do. You run different uh, planters. You can plant soybeans. We haven't even gotten into that. You can do wheat. There's all... The, we haven't even done tillage. So I'm, uh, this was the... We actually sold this disc. I probably should have ran this to kind of show you guys, but we sold this. I thought maybe you would, uh, we could save up more money and buy land. But tillage does, that's secondary tillage. So if I would have ran a pass with that, for example, this is probably, I would say this is one of the more important ones, basics, yield bonus. If we ran that through the field, it would give you plus five and then technically plus 10 because no till is minus 10, but that would help with yield as well. Let's go back to the dealership. Here's more trailers. Yeah, that would be cool. Get a semi, haul the combine down the road. And then once you get really big, I mean, you're going to need this. So there's some fields that are so much bigger than what we have right now. And it's unfolding for us. That is sweet. What is that? 36 row. That is humongous. But something that's really important, all different implements, attachments require different horsepower. So before you buy something, and I was talking about buying a different grain cart, 
We could get a brent one. You could change the color to green. Back to red. Same with Avalanche. So that's pretty crazy. You get a track version too. That's a DLC. But if you don't get the DLC, you can pretty much get the exact same thing. This Blazer. Blazer has a manure spreader. And then they have literally a triple axle grain cart. I That'll take us a while to get. And then obviously you can haul with the semi. So you can haul into town with that. This is what we have right now. But probably the next thing, I'll get extensions on that baby. We'll be rocking. We could pull like 20 of these things down the road. Make a grain train. So, bunch of primary tillage too. Five shank disc ripper there. So, thank you guys for watching. And that'll be it. See you guys later.